You, you know, there's a I show the the um, video guys. Have you seen the video of the um, of the what what is being called the Egyptian Glenn Beck? That's what they're calling him over in Egypt, the Egyptian Glenn Beck. He's called the Egyptian Glenn Beck because he's on Egyptian television and he's been saying the Muslim Brotherhood is they're they're Islamic extremists and they are in bed with the leftists here and and Egypt. Stay away from these guys. And I go to read the story in the New York Times, and I go to download the video of the Egyptian Glenn Beck, and they have made the, the video that they provided was a video mocking him. They made him in, you know, they digitized him in like, it's all stuttered and yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. and put to music, right? And put to music. Yeah. That's the way <laughs> they're reporting on the guy who said, hey, by the way, this is an Islamic extremist group. They're going to take hold, and they're in bed with the left. They mock him as the Egyptian Glenn Beck. And then the New York Times reports, on at the same time, they're mocking him at the same time the Muslim Brotherhood took power. And, uh, Pat, what did, what did the Egyptian the Egyptian new president just say? What was it, last night or two nights ago? What did he, he just say? Um, he, said, he? he said this, in part... <laughs> Ah, remember? Yeah. It's coming back to you now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which means, of course, well, no, wait, the, the very positive thing. Yeah, very positive things. Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton said this. That, that She's he, glad to hear all these very positive things. Here's some of the positive things he's saying. The Quran is our constitution. The Quran was and will continue to be our constitution. Hmm. The Prophet Muhammad is our leader. Jihad is our path. Yeah. And death for the sake of Allah is our most lofty aspiration. Death. Above all, Allah is our goal. I take an oath before Allah and before you all that regardless of the actual text, Allah willing the text will truly reflect Sharia. Now that's a moderate. Now that is Mercy himself. That is the new Egyptian president saying he will follow Sharia law. And what does Hillary Clinton say? This is very positive. This is very, very positive. A lot of work lies ahead. Um, But um, we're going to work with the leaders in support of their transition. We've heard some very positive statements coming from Mercy so far. (laughs) You've also heard some terrifying statements. But there is no truth outside of the accepted truth of the administration. I also love, right after she says we've heard some very positive statements so far, she says, including about respecting international obligations, which would, in our view, which would, in our view, not his, in our view, cover the peace treaty with Israel. But we'll we'll have have to wait wait and judge by what's actually done. Yeah, you will, because he has said... He has said, and his people, his clerics have said, that there's a caliphate coming and that Jerusalem will be the capital of the Muslim caliphate. I, he, he's, he's not respecting the treaty with Israel. That's crazy. And the guy in Egypt. So you, so you can see what the left and the Islamists are doing in Egypt is an Egyptian broadcaster is saying a caliphate is coming. They're in bed with the left, and the Muslim Brotherhood are extremists. Listen to what he says. And what are they doing? Mocking him and trying to drive him out. Now, we don't know what uh, he may say other things as well. You're not certainly standing up for everything he's saying. but the, the I'm issue standing here, up for what he said, what um, I've what, read about in the New York Times on that a caliphate is coming, these are Islamic extremists that you got to be away from, and the left is in bed with them. Now, I stand with him on that. What he says elsewhere, I, don't, I have no idea. Right, and the point is, it's the same thing as you just talking about in the universities. You have a point of view, or you're crazy, you're mocked, you're thrown out, Oh, I can, I don't, don't think, don't think that there isn't some sort of training program that I could go for sensitivity training for Muslim extremist deprogramming. Because they're really, I mean, they're really all nice, aren't they? Muslim extremists are wonderful people, and I don't know why you guys are so hateful towards them.